Hello, hello, everyone. It is time to talk about another Disney Plus Marvel series. This right here is my review of Miss Marvel after having seen two episodes of the show. First up, some plot basics for you. The series introduces Kamala Khan, a Muslim-American teenager growing up in Jersey City. She is a big, big Avengers fan, especially when it comes to Captain Marvel. But then, suddenly, she winds up becoming a superhero herself. Let's kick this off with the Miss Marvel highs, like Iman Vellani. She is a damn star. Talk about screen presence, charm, chemistry with everyone around her, and non-stop pitch-perfect delivery. There are some moments here and there where edits feel a tad off, or like there might be some pacing issues, things that should heavily impact the vibe and flow of the show, but so often, Vellani is just such a powerful core force for it that she manages to not even just breeze right past those types of hiccups, but even improve them and make them play better than they would have without her. And really, this entire ensemble here is phenomenal. Miss Marvel is an especially well-cast show, so big, big shout out to casting director Sarah Finn and Kristen Kuzar because they just absolutely nail it here. Matt Linz is one of many standouts in the show, playing Bruno, one of Kamala's friends. He's just another one who totally understands the type of show he's making and knows exactly how to deliver dialogue that so, so heavily relies on his timing and his inflection. I'm also loving Yasmeen Fletcher as Nakia, another one of Kamala's friends. There's one particular conversation between her and Kamala in episode two that just plain old filled my heart and is by far one of my favorite moments in the show thus far. Zenobia Shroff and Mohan Kapoor, who play Kamala's parents, make such a huge impression these first two episodes. And so does Sagar Sheikh, who plays her brother. Really? The family dynamic here, even in just two episodes, already has so, so much to offer this series. The comedic relief of seeing family dysfunction, the charm and heart of really feeling that they're parents who love their daughters so, so much. And then it also raises the stakes of the show quite significantly through how they don't see eye to eye on certain matters, matters that Kamala cares deeply about. And She's just so easy to get behind that you really do want to see her get what she wants, but it's also so abundantly clear that her family's different thoughts on those matters are just coming from a place of love. That being said, the stakes in Miss Marvel are different, and it's because of the scale of the situation and where Kamala's at in her life. It's quite different from other recent Marvel productions. Not only is she a high school student struggling to fit in while also embracing what makes her different, but this is the first time she's ever had powers, and she certainly never expected she would get powers. And I just found it really refreshing and highly enjoyable to be able to explore something like that through a show with a more youthful feel to it. And speaking of that feel, a lot of the camera work, the music cues, and the effects here are just spot on. In addition to the cast of this show, one of my absolute favorite things about it is how it incorporates Kamala's artwork into the visuals overall. Not only is it super delightful and just plain old fun to look at, but it also really does enhance the fact that this story is being told from Kamala's perspective, and it significantly contributes to how quickly you get sucked right into her world and how much you want to stay there. The camera work and the music choices also lean into the show's more playful vibe, I would say, quite effectively as well. There's a whole slew of song selections that offer energy bursts just when the show needs them, and there are countless camera moves here that very successfully strengthen comedic beats throughout these first two episodes. But, of course, I do need to point out the series' biggest weaknesses at this point, and I found them to be in the production design and also the visual effects work on Kamala's powers. In particular here, there's a convention sequence in the first episode that just does not have as much production value as maybe it should have. And it's a bit surprising to me that they didn't go bigger with that particular sequence, given the fact that 
a lot of people watching this show, I have to imagine, have likely been to many conventions. If a setting like that isn't totally believable, you are going to notice. And then when it comes to the visual effects on her powers, I am a little torn on this matter because on the one hand, something about Kamala's abilities don't look quite right. Like this hard light doesn't really feel real, I guess, within a real world setting. But the thing is, the hard light is also so connected to Kamala's artwork that the style of it does make sense. So basically, that part isn't fully working for me, but that's something that might change. As the series goes on, I get more used to it, and Kamala learns more about how to use her abilities. All right, I'm going to leave you there and score this one. After seeing two episodes of Miss Marvel, I am giving it four Deweys out of five on the Dewey Decimovie scale. This show is a very, very good time. It is super sweet and just brimming with heart. I know some out there were asking if it felt at all like Spider-Man Homecoming because of the high school setting, but at that point, Peter already had his powers and he had some experience using them and fighting. So there's just something especially pure and wholesome about where Kamala is starting her journey. And also, Miss Marvel does have a, you know, a touch of family sitcom vibe to it, which we haven't really seen done in the MCU in this particular way. Of course, I do know WandaVision did the TV through the years thing, but it's different when it's a character's full reality and a defining factor of the whole series, or at least what I imagine will be a defining factor of the whole series, because again, I've only seen two episodes, and I know things are bound to evolve from here, but I can say that thus far I have a very, very good feeling that the MCU has yet another winner on their hands with something fresh to offer that I think is going to strengthen the franchise for the better as it continues to expand it. All right, that is where I'm leaving you on Miss Marvel. When you catch the first two episodes, do hit that comment section below. I got to know what you think about this one. Before I say goodbye, it is Patreon shoutout time. A very big group of wonderful people here. They are Javier, Sam, Neil, Caleb, Seth, Stephen, Justin, Michael, Dustin, Matthew, and Patrick. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say thank you enough for supporting me. And also, I'm getting super hyped because I know some of you play fantasy football and you know what's right around the corner now. July is the month to sign up for the fantasy football tier of the campaign. So if you want to explore that, I got the URL at the bottom of your screen right now. So head on over there and check it out. To everyone out there watching this video, you rock. I appreciate you watching it. Please like and share before you leave and stay tuned. More reviews on the way very, very soon. <laughs>